Alright, hey guys, what's going on? This is Hobfoot, and we're back. I'm back. I don't know where you are, but I imagine you're back. Uh, if you're hearing me say this, does this exist? If you don't hear it being said? Hmm. Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome. We're doing another Chaos playthrough of The Witcher. Still working our way through. For those of you that have never tuned in before, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I imagine you're curious about what exactly a Chaos playthrough is. Uh, it's where I make uh, everything random that I can. Sometimes you will see this in conversation, uh, where we have things where it's like, uh, Geralt, won't you go kill the elves for me? And Geralt can be like, no, I'm not going to kill the elves. Or, yes, I will kill the elves, and it'll be something he says. It's a conversation choice. But it's actually an action choice. It's a thing he's going to do. Sometimes we make those random. Um, not all the time, however. Unlike our Knights of the Old Republic playthrough, uh, the, those kinds of things are a little less random. Uh, solely for the fact that uh, I'm playing the Witcher series through so that I can experience their the world, the lore. I just really love the depth to to the world here, to the, the stories, to all these characters. It's just, it's amazing and I love it. So that's kind of what I'm playing is to explore that stuff. And I don't want to cut any of that stuff out. And I kind of want to play through the story, how I feel with how I feel Geralt would. Um, but that means that our chaos playthrough then comes uh, mainly through our leveling up. Instead of deciding which things we're going to level up, like, man, I get hit a lot and I die quick. Maybe I'll level up my defense or my hit points. Instead of doing that, like you normally would, instead, we just roll a die. And, you know, maybe I've got a bajillion magic points and I hardly ever use magic. Well, you know what? I got more magic points if that's what I roll. So that's mainly where you see that. So far as what's going on here right now, uh, we've been trying to track down Salamantra. We're in Vizima. We've been doing a lot of stuff, doing little side questy things. And we got cornered with a special meeting with some wet guy and uh, Triss had to teleport us out on the double, real hasty-like. I feel like this happened in The Witcher 3. I've played a little bit of The Witcher 3, well, a few hours worth of it, and um, this uh, seems familiar. I feel like some something similar to this happened, like, oh, let me teleport you out of here real quick. And then it's like, ooh, I end up in a cave or an old elven ruin or something like that. I don't remember. But that's what's going on here, it seems like, and there's supposed to be a whole group of us, so I imagine I have to go find them, but this is the Salamandra hideout, and I, I'm guessing we're going to go... There's a stool here. There's a sack. Sad sack. Yeah, luckily you're safe in there. Um, I imagine we're going to... Can I squeeze through those... Vines there? Do I blow them out of the way? I guess they're roots. Do I burn them? Better here than the middle of some banquet. Uh, basically, this is where we're going to confront the Salamandra. This is their main hideout. Yeah, luckily you're safe in there. I don't know. Oh, these are hard times. I don't know whether I should burn it or knock it down. Let's um. Let's try burning the roots. Nope, that didn't do it. There we go. Oh, no, no, what'd you do? It's the wrong button. Okay, well, he's dead. Let's save our game real quick before a bunch of other people come running over here. So yeah, so we've we've pretty much infiltrated their base. Uh, it kind of didn't go to plan, but we've done it, and now we're gonna, I guess, kill everybody. I suppose. Let's um, I want to put the fire back. I like uh, burninating everybody. Hello, I'm home. It did not to see you. Pull your sword out, dummy. I'll rip your guts open. Ooh. Oh, did I, uh, 
I guess I killed the one guy. Everybody? Oh, there's one guy who's asleep. Unfortunately, you can't uh, straight up assassinate guys that are asleep in this. Um. All right, so the Negretto still held on. That's pretty good. My um. I got two remains there. Three remains. Are they all the same? I wish you could uh huddle or hold over people and. That was one thing I really liked about Fallout, is you could just like... Oh. I don't know what I hit. You could grab people's bodies and move them around if they were too... I feel like some of those people definitely have stuff on them. Alright, maybe they don't. I don't know. Ooh, what we got here? Curses and the Cursed. Let's see what we can take. Well, at least I got something to sell. That's good. Oh, look at there. Burninating your goddamn face. Bitch. How you like being dead? He loves it. Stamilford's dust. It's a lot of. I've always have been of mixed minds of something like this. So like, ah, big old sacks of stuff. And it's like, let's stick them to the side of the cavern to look good. But you can loot them. Or maybe you can't, but it's like they're full of something. Maybe I could loot whatever's in there. I don't know. But then you go to loot them, you get one thing out of them. And it's like, well, what happened to everything else? There's nothing else in there I could loot. Why do they look so big? But they're supposed to look good for, you know, uh surroundings and everything so i don't know i'm i'm kind of a mixed mind of that it's just always one of those things where it's like i think one way and then i'm like well i don't know and then you know i think another way this looks like a wall i should be able to knock down or not why is he always the harder you try to get him to blast something in the right direction, the farther off track he goes. It's pretty ridiculous. Freaking salamandra mages. Oh, something's going on here. Gwynblade, we have no time to lose. Yaven, you're here after all. There's no time. Open the portal and let my unit in. Where's Triss? She stayed behind to deal with that lunatic DeWet, but she cast Alzer's shield before teleporting you. Alzer's shield? A powerful spell from the book you found in the swamp. Strange. I don't recall giving it to her. Gwyblade, my brothers in arms await. Would you take on the entire Salamandra base yourself? Any ideas? The Salamanders enter their base through a magic portal created years ago by my kin. Can we use it? Triss claims it can be activated using a power stone. Luckily, there's one there on the right. Unfortunately, it's guarded by a mage. I can just kill him. Alright, we need to activate the portal and let in the Oskoyatel. I should activate the portal and let our reinforcements. Alvaro's portal. I knew Alvaro. Hold on, let's, before we get in the middle of this, save our game in case I do something incorrectly, which is very likely. It's pretty much the only way I do things, is incorrectly. Guys, just stay looking over there. That's it. That's all the reinforcements we got. Really was hoping for more. Oh. I save the game. Just in case. Okay. I 
need to attack some guys. Oh god, swing your sword. What are you doing? Why are you just standing there, lady? Kill some people. Why is it so hard to kill this guy? What the? Oh my God, guys, get out of the way. You're not, you're not killing him. Oh, stop standing around. Go attack the other mage. Oh my god, attack the Ifrit. Seriously? Oh my god. Alright, let's go attack these guys because fuck that. I don't know how many times I can click on something before it's gonna you. decide to I attack it. All here. Good. We can resolve this. Ha. Huh. I underestimated you in the swamp. But you won't surprise me now. You go after your goal no matter what. The elves you brought are doomed to die. It's a don't big think club. So. The elven race is condemned. Humans only accelerate the inevitable. If you demonstrate wisdom. You'll see the grand plan. And if I refuse? Nothing will change except we'll have one Witcher less. The grand plan foresees all possible resolutions. Join us or stop being an obstacle. Spit it out. You're fighting for a cause in the name of vague principles. You're in a labyrinth of other people's schemes. You don't know the grand plan. The country is ruled by a degenerate monarch who allowed his monstrous daughter to murder citizens for years. Furthermore, during the war, he allowed Nilfgaard to plunder and torch neighboring allied kingdoms. Wrap it up. If not Fortes, <laughs> then who? The Lodge of the Sorceresses? You know not what those bitches do to influence post-war treaties. The resettlements, deportations, the unresolved matter of the Scoia'tael and others your dazzling conclusion salamandra is not evil not more than those with the will to shape their own fate mm. all right um I think this would be the more interesting answer here. If Salamandra is not evil incarnate, then what of Javed? Immorality, rape, murder, treason. What do you call this creature? The future, evolution, or destiny? Screw Freaking that. destiny. I'd rather fight a nightmare even if it's hopeless, though this time it isn't. You won't surprise me this time. Now, die. How? Ouch. Professor, tend Ouch. Get up. What are you doing? Get up. Oh, that's not really going to be a fight. What the? Javed crumbled in the swamp. could easily have destroyed me and made off with the spell book. He lost it. Fled. Alzur's shield worked beautifully. Javed ran, leaving the professor behind. I won't let him escape next time. Okay, I don't quite follow that, but all right. Geralt, are you all right? Yavin, what happened? You took a mighty blow. 
The spell must have protected you. Alzur's shield. The professor escaped, and that barrier blocks our path. Leave this to me. Okay. So I have to get Azar and the professor. Let's save our game since we're not dead. And we could have been. Lots of stuff happening. Is there something blue over here? Oh. And I can't loot people. All right, well, they're not getting through, I guess. Just me and the professor. Where are you at, John? Come on, Professor Lennon. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight a bunch of kicking wars, aren't I? They're not attacking me because the professor's here. Oh, pull your sword, pull your sword, wrong sword, wrong sword. Oh my god, why are you just Oh, I don't understand group style. You're dead. Always gonna stop to loot people. That's just a given. Oh man, these guys don't even have anything good. Just their badges, which I can't even find anywhere to sell anymore. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, oh damn it, I meant to save. No doubt your life will end soon and how useless it's been. You'll die knowing you're an aberration. You're so full of shit, Professor. Why do you seek to prevent the creation of new witches? The answer's simple. You feel you have no rightful place in this world. You owe your existence to the conjunction of spheres. But your creators erred. Know how? Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, I'd like to really pick that, but we're going to go with Enlighten Me, just to see what he says. They failed to strip you of emotion. You were meant to slay monsters without making judgments, philosophizing, or nursing doubts. You're ineffective. Well, this ineffective, doubt-ridden historical freak is about to kill you. Let's dance. Well said. Oops, that's the wrong sword again. Oh god. Oh god, I'm dying. Okay. Also, I can't see what's happening. It suddenly got dark. Alright, well... And that's why I should have saved after killing those guys. I really need to be able to see. shield obviously does not make me uh, completely immune to damages. I don't remember what Kikamore warriors are weak to. Silver and insectoid oil. Um, immune to most effects, including blinding. Resistance to knockdown. The use scent. Hmm. They spit acid. Well. All right, we got our sword pulled out. They're all ready. We're gonna let these guys come to me, so I don't have to fight the professor and these guys all at once. Oh my god. 
Even when it works, I get it wrong. Eat some food, that'll help. Maybe. I'm really hoping these guys would at least have some, you know. Coins or something on them. All right. Ah, getting them from here. It's funny. Oh, I already ran this way. Out your life, you're so. F Why do you seek to you owe and light? They fail. Well, I've already seen all this. Come on, uh. oh, turn this, turn your screen. What are you doing? All right, well, whatever. Um. Oh my god, why can't... <laughs> Holy crap, this thing is like, murderifying me hardcore. These are like, extra beefed up, uh, kicking more warriors. I feel like I'm gonna leave the professor alone and... Try and fight the Kikamores. Because apparently two shields isn't enough. And I need different swords for them too, is the problem. So I'm not doing as much damage to them as I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run, run, run. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's run. Oops. Okay, this does not seem to be a good... Oops, that's not sprint. Uh, where's the sprint button? Uh, he runs awful when his sword's out. Oh, okay, I cornered myself. And I'm cornering myself again. Maybe only one will be able to get to me at a time. Alright, now let's run a little bit. Give ourselves some time to heal up a little. I really need a heal spell, that'd be really useful, instead of whatever this other garbage is they give you. Yeah, nope. Oops. Pull out your silver sword. Or, no, I, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to put it away. Pull out the regular sword. Let's, uh, eat something. I don't know. Did he get stuck on the... Let's uh, save our game. I don't care if uh, the professor heals up. I can kill him, no problem. Give myself some time to heal up. If I could burn the professor a little bit. That'd probably be useful. Uh, 
Oh, he didn't even heal. Nice. Ah, you did, bastard. You've triumphed. The crazy metal music everywhere. Valuable witch's treasure awaits. You have what you wanted. Show mercy. You better not, Carol. Never hurts to ask. Mm. So you can parry arrows in flight. Can we just get to the point where I've killed this guy already? Son of a bitch. Ugh. I've never wanted to kill John Lennon more. Ugh. Psycho metal music some more. Hole in the ground, maybe? And my sword went flying. Oh, he is dead. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, wait, no, my sword's not in him. But the sword was in him. Oh, surprise. I thought that's probably what this was. Oh, I wanted to be the one to kill him. Damn it, I'm gonna kill you just for keeping me from killing him now. Okay, let's... Oh my god, hit, hit, escape, save, the... oh, I can't save the game, oh no, oh no. Okay, um, done kick more lair, defeat their queen and get out of here. Where's the kick more queen? Let's see, resistant to all effects, very thick armor, hard to injure, regardless of silver or steel. They move very slowly. Can knock down and kill someone in a single blow. Uh, let's see. Probably want to use heavy. Which is my... Or strong, I guess. Strong... S steel strong is pretty good. Up to 260 damage. Silver strong, up to 130. Opponent armor, negative 45%. Enemy armor, negative 45%. Well, it might be better for us to do strong steel. Looks like that's what I've got. Let's go to Stone of Power. Why does that say Stone of Power? Why uh, can't I? My hand's not... I'm not seeing a hand anywhere. Oh, I really don't want to take a cat potion. Can I destroy eggs? And that'll call her... Oh, now we can save our game. Okay, good. Oops. Kick the microphone. Sorry about that. Okay, am I supposed to just, like, wander around this place? All right, we I guess we better use a cat. Surprise, blizzard, white honey, cat. Oh, my kitty cat. I don't stun stunts and I don't stun stunts. Let's just use it, I suppose. I really wanted to be the one to kill him. Guess I'm still looting stuff. Remember to use my strong steel on her. If I should see her. Can I just, like, chop up some of these eggs and then she'll like freak out and come attack me do not see this stone of power it seems to be lying it's 
buried or something. Alright, well, this game's giving me a big old F you, so it seems appropriate, seems adequate. Uh oh. Behind me. Okay. How about that then? That, that was something. I don't know what to make of that. I think, should I just not kill her? really didn't want to, but I really do need to. I don't have a bow and arrow. I don't have any bomb. Gosh, oh, I meant to save the game. Damn it. What are you doing? Oh, God. Okay. Well. He moves all over the place when I don't want him to. But not. Will she hurt me if I... Oh, why did it save? And she's right there in front of me. Oh, God. That's not where she was. Run, 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 run. Oh, I can't fit between there. Oh, God. Okay, well, she was definitely way farther away from me when I saved. So... Run, run, run. Oops. <laughs> okay. Well. Pretty sure I've screwed myself with that save. Oh god. Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh, you're always dodging over things. Why are you not dodging? Oops. Oh, I need my silver for these guys. What's happening? I feel like I'm not using the group style. There we go. Okay. Well, I have thoroughly screwed myself. Something about the supports. I don't know how to. All right, let's. 
Did I click the right one? Oh, but I'm dead anyway. Uh, I might have to go back to my autosave and save somewhere where this hasn't happened yet and she's far enough away. Okay, how do I not have... Oh. Oh, it did come down. Woo! Guys, that was... questionable at best. What's that? Cave exit. All right, we're gonna save our game again. I'm not quite sure how I made that through there, to be honest. Oh, it's very, uh, sketchy. How does this thing have all this stuff on it? The professor's reports, the writings ripped from the Kikimura Queen's carcass are all that remains of the professor. Book of the Wolverine, excerpt from the Witcher's secret stolen from Kara Morhen, contains formula for potions, yep, cure for the, for the werewolf, uh, thing, which I figured, uh, the Witchers would know about. Hanged man's venom, blade coating, poisons wounded opponents. Kikimori Queen's nerve, special alchemical ingredient. Kikimori's ire. Notes contain the formula for a potion made with Kikimori Queen's nerve. Well, how fitting that they happen to happen or see at the same, be there at the same time. The professor's letter ready to send. The letter merely, merely lacks a seal. The hell was that? Why is that? Is there more monsters? I just added with supporting Salamandra. I need to get this information to Triss. Well, let's... Ah, oh, stop shaking the screen. Jeez. Let's read our infos that we got. Professor's reports. I'm gonna read that. Regrettably, regrettably, I must question the benefits of our alliance with Princess Ada. That slut is extraordinarily spoiled and very difficult to persuade. She proved incapable of introducing an effective state of emergency, and her ham-fisted forgeries set the Witcher on her trail. We will stay true to our word and encourage Ada's delusions for the time being. However, with Voltest return returning shortly, we should proceed with the second part of our plan. I presume I will myself resolve the problem with Geralt of Rivia quickly and in a radical fashion. However, I must insist you cease referring to him as a... Son of a bitch. Appellations of that nature are entirely inaccurate, inappropriate, and painfully primitive. As expected, he really is a professor. As expected, the substances which were delivered allow us to control the Kikamores and their mother. Ooh, interesting. A uh, substance that does that. Um, at least the laboratory is working properly, making valuable use of the secrets of Kara Morhen. Professor, oh, you bastards. It's our stuff. We got some new character entries. Azar Shaved. 
Um... During the fight... I don't know, this might have been before. During the fight with the professor, the mage came to his companion's rescue. This time he was unable to stop me and I forced him to flee. I don't know if that's current or not. According to the professor's notes, Azar Javed is in Salamandra's hidden laboratory where he is working to put the secrets of Kaer Morhen to use. And Ada. According to the professor's notes, Ada collaborated with Salamandra. She was behind the counterfeiting of the royal seal and forged the proclamation of the state of emergency. Emergency. She was promised the throne of Temeria, though in reality, Salamandra believed her to be unpredictable. The organization plans to break the alliance. So full test is gone. And Ada's trying to take over and pretend she's her dad and rule the country, but basically was not doing a very good job of it. A letter. The Professor's Draft Letter. Azar, you fool, you failed to foresee that the boy Alvin, upon whom we place so much hope, is incapable of opening unstable portals. Shortly after we captured him, the little shit simply disappeared. He was so scared, his... Legs could hardly bear him, and yet he gave us the slip. I spent a fortune finding the teleportation trail, so I know where he is, but I lack people but I lack people and can't possibly send my imbeciles after him. I have decided to send a man we need to test. True, I doubt his loyalty, but either way we will recover the boy, send your people to the village of Murky Waters immediately. If my messenger fails to return with Alvin by the time they get there, they should kill him and bring the child to you, to the laboratory. Hurry, time's of the essence. Okay, so Alvin is from the village, and Alvin is the boy Vasca was searching for. It's kind of what I suspected. At least this is what seems that way. Um, I guess this is before I rescued Alvin from them. I have Alvin. Okay, so this is a little weird. I have Alvin. I rescued him. He's staying with Triss, but I'm likely to find Beringer when I find him. Seems a little bit of a jump. Here, let's save our game since we've learned stuff. Hopefully I won't screw myself like I've just done previously. Although I frequently do that. Oh, I can't loot the rest of the Kikamores. Damn, that'd have been a good... Opportunity. Oh. Okay. Definitely thought I was going to be fighting that Kikimori Queen and everything much longer than I was. Apparently I'm ending up with the dike. Somehow. Not sure how. Did I end up in Old Wazima? That would be interesting. Hmm. Uh-oh. I have desperately wanted to kill this fucker for a while. I should have known you discover who was behind the counterfeit royal seals. I was wrong to see you merely as a monster slayer. Well, you live and you learn. The better you know me, the more impressive I become. Any chance you haven't deduced everything? Not much. I know you plan to stage a coup, assume power while your father is away. I also know you found an ally in Salamandra. My plans remain unchanged, and you won't stop me. I condemn you to death. Sentence to be carried out at once. You're Obviously, he's going to take you hostage. So, Gerald, the right of state never sleeps. As the condemned, I have the right to a last wish. One last kiss from you. A scandalous request. But the last wish is a sacred <laughs> custom. What the hell? So be it. Boom. Wish, Witcher. Teleported together. Ha! That's funny. Oh, spirited away. Someone will pay for this. Should have taken them both. What's wrong with you? Oh, that was dumb. That was super, super stupid. 
Oh my god. You should have taken her, taken her hostage. Solved it. Huh. You just... That's why the game is as long as it is. Because right there, that was the end of the game. You capture her, you hold her hostage, you get everything fixed right till full test gets there, then you're done. Oh hey, we got to the next chapter. Chapter 4. What the hell? out of that strange hole in the sky clever girl mother says i meddle perhaps i know everything ask me that city though what the hell that was awesome the past or the future what is this place this is the shore beyond lies murky waters and beyond that fields by boat you can get to the island you do know a lot I know everything. Ask me. Access my map? Nope. What's happened here recently? I don't know where I'm at exactly. The village chief's daughter will soon marry. For gold, mother says. Right. Mother also says Alina's sister, Selina, yearns for Julian. He's Alina's fiancé who lives at the inn. What does yearn mean? She really likes Julian. Oh, then Julian yearns for Alina, Selina yearns for Julian, and Alina likes Julian's gold but yearns for Adam. Adults are stupid. Undeniably. <laughs> I know everything. Ask me. I saw a city. The submerged city of an ancient race full of treasure and monsters. Now fish people live there. I fear them, but the one sitting by the statue of the lady seems jolly. I'm losing track. And I yeah. sometimes take fish to the sick and poor elves when the Fisher King catches them. And on the island, you can meet the lady. More beautiful than Alina. She yearns, too. I'm completely lost. Stupid adults. How can you take care of us when you don't understand and you're always yearning? You got a good point, kid. I don't, I don't know what's happening either. I, that one really... Do you know who I am? I'm lost. You have white hair, like every grandpa. You're ugly, but I like you. That's lucky. I know everything. That's rude. Ask me. Although, uh, Witcher 1 girl is, uh, pretty, pretty ugly. His face is all stretched weird. They fixed it by 3. You know, 3 looks alright. Looks good as a, you know, I don't know what guys look like. Generally, I think guys don't look good, but, you know, I, I can see where it's like, oh, he's got that classic, like, guy look i don't know but but definitely not one i'm not familiar with two if they fixed his face in that one or not is the shore safe yes sometimes those evil fish people creep out of the water and drive off the funny fishermen i hide under the fisherman's hut clever of course okay well bye, bye now locations lakeside huge ass altar there what the hell So where was everybody looking? That way? That way? Vodianoi Priest. Alright. Uh, Statue of the Lady of the Lake. Fisher King's Hut. We're definitely someplace we haven't been before. Oh wow, we're all the way over here. Okay. Interesting. I imagine we're going to end up this way, since that's kind of blankish. And I imagine at some point we'll end up this way. Awesome! Guys, we made it to Chapter 4! That is pretty cool. Okay, locations. We're at Lakeside. In the evenings, a light breeze from the lake ripples the waters of small inlets. The Fisher King gathers his nets, and the few villagers come to watch the mirage of the underwater city seen above the lake's surface thanks to the unusually clear waters, the light of the moon, and a little optical magic. There is also a cave in the area, a refuge for elven fugitives who live in peace alongside the inhabitants of the nearby village. This is a very strange place, um, especially for this world of 
whatever they call the Witcher's world. Sewers, that's new. Um, as it turns out, Salamander established a hideout in the sewers. Many miserable wretches are forced to manufacture fish tech there. I feel like I read that already. And a way to reach the Salamander hideout in the city, or in the city sewers. Colts. Something. All right. The Vivaldi Bank. Like any large bank, Vizima also has a branch of the dwarf owned Vivaldi Bank. It is located in a sturdy building with thick stone walls. Guards armed to the teeth watch the armored safes, while wealthy clients can count on discreet professional service. The bank is renowned, and so its reputation did not suffer when rumors began circulating of a hostile takeover. Apparently, the bank's owner was having financial problems, and an anonymous investor took advantage. Very interesting, because you meet Vivaldi um, in Witcher 3, and, uh, you know, it's kind of like, hmm, I wonder what happened. I won't spoil anything. Yeah, I know I say a lot, like, oh, I know this from The Witcher 3, oh, I know that from The Witcher 3, which ought to tell you how vast The Witcher 3 is, because uh, I have not played very much of it. At least I don't think so. All right, so let's go over here. I wonder if this is a priest of the Vodianoi or an actual Vodianoi who is a priest. Oh, did I save my game? I better save my game. Oh, look at that thing. It's a ghoul pilot, I'll hold. Oh, Gralol. And I'm Geralt. Pleased to meet you. Do you call the girl? I don't speak your language. Gralol, your language I speak very well. Evidently. Let's talk. Kneel before lady. Speak easy. No kneel. Must be Dagonan and Bartol. No speak. So I'm to pay tribute to the Lady of the Lake? Exactly. All right. All right, well, can't hurt. Oh, great stone dragon, I mean statue. Oh, glitching out there. This Vodianoi dude looks like he fell out of Knights of the Old Republic. Got any work for someone skilled with a sword? Ghoul, bull. Humans great enemies to Vodianoi. Hire Witcher Big for Vodianoi to kill. Witcher Big at Crypt. We love with humans, yet humans swim our waters. Did I hear you right, another Witcher? Gralol, exact, disloving ghouls at Crypt. I need to speak to him. Farewell. No, I want to ask more questions. Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything all right? Great sadness. No peace in house. I'm sorry to hear that. Talk. Ghoulful Talu. Um. What's Witcher in your language. Which Malol Bull? Which Malol? Which Malol Bull? Bull must be. No bull means idiot. <laughs> All right, then I'm Witch Malol Bull. <laughs> yes, so you be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like this thing way more than I thought I would. Oops, sorry, dude. For the Lady of the Lake is a goddess of elder peoples of such wisdom and might that her single utterance conquered hatred and greed. She spoke but one sentence, one sentence so filled with truth that they had no choice, for no man and no Vod Vodianoi can resist the ultimate truth. And so humans and Vodianoi shook hands and presented each other with gifts, forging a truce. Wondrous were the gifts indeed. A gold bracelet belonging to the village's founder, richly ornamented by a true master's hand, went to the Vodianoi. I wasn't finished reading. And and an old Vodianoi looked upon the lady's face and said, By word can make this world sink just as it can make it burn until only ashes remain. And as the people saw a fine statue of alabaster appear, they were all speechless. And by the lake in a wondrous land, a great feast was held, and so on the story goes. 
Okay, if you say so. Um, don't suppose there's anything here. Oh, I can't walk around it in the water. Oh, I still got... What's all this floaty stuff in the sky? Is that from the cat potion? Oh, try not to push you a lot, dude. You keep walking in my way. So, way out over there is Vizima. Way out. Okay, there's an island, too. I heard the one gr the girl mention an island or something. Okay, we learned a lot right there. Let's save our game. Find the crypt. Find Berengar. He's probably dead. Night. Oh, there's another dryad. God damn it. I'm gonna have to talk to her, but I've got to... Uh... I'm gonna have to edit this out. Alright, hold on. Let me... Say the 18. What time is this? Alright. Let's go talk to the dryad. Can she please be wearing clothes? No, of course not. She looks the same as the last one. Greetings. If not for my woes, jiggle physics I and everything. Why? And swim with you. What concerns you? Let's talk. Who are you? A naiad, a water nymph. I serve the Lady of the Lake. You look like the other ones. You mentioned woes. Terrible indeed. I lost my turquoise necklace as I swam in moonlight, a gift from the Lady of the Lake. Where did you swim? I usually bathe in the lake, yet that night I dared the river near the village. Sadly, the drowners abide there, led by Zephyr. Who the hell is Zephyr? Once one of Vizima's most famous thieves. He moved as quietly as the wind, and quite handsome. And now? Jeez, these he once things. The sewers, but his loot proved too heavy. He joined the drowned dead. But old habits rarely die as easily. He still steals? Of course. Doubtless he stole my necklace. The drowners ever protect him. That's something if, um, you I'll can get the drowners to protect you. How wonderful! I have no gold with which to pay. But perhaps some trinkets could be. Oh my god, why is there so much jiggle physics? I shall Fuck. Await you at the end of the beach. What is wrong with you guys that made this game? Alright, how do we how find, do Zephyr? find Zephyr? If you come on, come on, come on. He'll appear to discover the problem. Remember, drowners only venture out at night. Where do I find the drowners protecting Zephyr? They gather at night here on the shore. If you borrow a boat, you may reach the island where you'll find others. Some linger near the village. Farewell. Alright, kill a bunch of... Zephyrs all over the... Or, a bunch of... Uh, drowners all over the place, and then maybe... Come out. There's a circle of magic over there. All right, we're on a landing. Damn, I don't really want to follow what's her face. Is this the girl I talked to before? I yeah. Everything. All right. Okay. Apparently, she's a homeless child. Some Ganesha over here. What's that do for us? Yurden sign, intensity increased by 50. I don't even remember what that does. We'll hardly use it. Damages, stuns, and weakens all opponents. Probably should have tried using that while I was running down that tunnel. And we've got a fireplace. All right, I think we're going to end it here. And um, what we'll do is we'll save... For next episode, the leveling up, which I've got to do. Um, so let's... Ah, oh, damn it. I don't want her in the picture for the ending. Too much things YouTube might get on me about. Too many jig jiggle physics that YouTube wouldn't like. Um, yeah, anyway. So 
thanks so much for tuning in guys we're, we're, we're gonna this is where we are going to end it all right god i can't talk um and uh you'll have to tune back in beginning of next episode and you'll see us do some actual uh chaotic play in our uh leveling we'll do that uh, thanks so much for tuning in and for hanging out here on the brat cat channel um if you liked it hit the like if you disliked it hit the dislike you know the drill it's the same thing for every youtube video that everybody else actually do so if you want to do that awesome um you could do the subscribe too if you want the little monkey things again cool um but when you do the uh likes or dislikes and um subscriptions or whatever or if you have any questions comments letters of resignation or other such queries which you leave down in the comment section every time you do that stuff on our uh videos for our channel uh that makes us look good to our youtube overlords so if you like us if you like what we're doing you think ah more people should know about this and you want people to know about it do that kind of stuff and it helps us look good and get promoted on youtube so um thanks so much if you do if it's not something you would normally do don't don't do it we're not asking you for anything um uh, i hate doing this part of the uh, ending um what else was i gonna say oh if you want to talk to me personally directly you can find me uh on twitter at hobfoot h-o-b-f-o-o-t-e and when you do that um we can talk about this game other games books movies tv whatever you want to talk about um we can just chat and be internet friends if you want to keep up with what Brad Cat's doing, um, specifically and all the different things going on there, you can follow Brad Cat at Brad Cat Media, um, and that's on Twitter. And if you do that, that'll kind of keep you up to date with uh, other people in the Brad Cat channel doing other things. Uh, we've got Alan and uh, Tristan doing things, uh, Natsert Games. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and that's it. I hate this part. Peace out, Scouts.